Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. The bus is still touring the Volta region. This is your election command center, and this is our community manifesto. And today, we are in the Ketu North constituency. Ketu North, are you here? Ketu North, are you here? This is about one of the biggest gatherings we've ever had on Community Manifesto. And we appreciate every single one of you who have gathered here this morning, from the chiefs to the queen mothers to the community leaders, everyone here present. We value all of you and we thank you so much for joining us for our Community Manifesto. Just a little background about this constituency or about this district. It was formerly part of the Ketu district, which was created from the Anglo district. Now, in 2008, it was separated and it became the Ketu North district. Well, it's been voting from 1992. So in the last elections, Ketu North has always voted. It has become what we know as the World Bank of the NDC, as the MPP has struggled a little bit in the last elections but the dynamics are quite changing they are changing in this constituency and this time around k North says they are going for the young men of the constituency in no time we'll be meeting the leadership of the MPP and of course of the NDC as well young men and young women as well as older women have also gathered here and we've got some prominent older men in society gathered here today as well. We are going to be hearing from all of them, pick exactly what the situation is on ground. As we journeyed into this constituency, we even experienced some for ourselves. The roads are quiet, bad, um, if we could say the least. Youth unemployment is a major problem in this constituency. What are they also doing for the women and the young children in this constituency? We are gonna get into all of that in no time. But shall I have all the reps? Are all the reps seated? Not all of them are seated. But by way of introduction, we are going to go to my left and then come to my right. So the leadership of both parties tell us exactly who they are. I see the MPP to my left. I see the NDC to my right. If you belong to any other political party, whoever you are, wherever you are, let us know, alert us, so that we can also give you the due acknowledgement that you deserve so please just alert us and let's know if you belong to any other political party and you are here this morning after the introductions i'm going to give the mce the opportunity to welcome us he's going to give us his welcome address or remarks and tell us a little bit whatever he wants us to know about k2 north this constituency he will let us know before we further proceedings this morning so on the mpp side one more time good morning says please pass the microphone to him so he can tell us who he is yeah thank you very much tv3 and we are privileged to have you in ketu north my name is honorable mark thompson betty I'm the acting constituency chairman, MPP, Kertunov, and part of the panel this morning. Thank Let's you. give it up for honorable. Let's give it up for honorable. All right, sir. May we know you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, my name is Anthony Komla mm -hmm. the honorable municipal chief executive of Kertunov. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm uh, uh, part of the, the panel okay. the, this morning. All right. And... Uh, I, I represent the MPP. We appreciate your presence here. Please, let's give it up for the MC. Let's give it up for the MC. And on the NDC side, please, who do we have here? Yeah. I'm James Dote Tesu Ganak Balima. I am the communication officer of Katunov constituency for NDC, the hardworking, the hardworking communication officer. So I'm representing my party to, to give our debate on this platform. Okay. Yes. All right. Please pass the microphone. Kindly pass the microphone. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. NDC. <laughs> I beg. We beg. We beg. NDC, you need to slow down. Yeah, Sir, Morning. please sit. Okay. All right. So, your name, yeah. please. Yeah. I'm Daniel Salon Chika Hamano. Okay. I'm the NDC Constituency Youth Organizer. In fact, youth the organizer. Indefatigable Constituency Youth Organizer okay. for that matter. All right. I want to welcome you guys to Katuno. Thank and you. And have a nice day. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sir, you just walked in. 
May we know who you are, please. I'm from Henry Gaffa, the aide to the MP, Dr. James Kuche Averji, the chairman of Public Account Committee, and the MP of the heartbeat of Volta, Katuno. Thank you. All right. Okay, we didn't start with you. You also just walked in. May we know who you are? Okay, my name is Clever Kofi Lawson. My name is Clever Kofi Lawson. I'm the former DC for Ketunov. Okay. We've also got two independent candidates here for Ketu North. Where are the independent candidates? Are they here? Okay, so they are not here yet. Once they get here, we will duly acknowledge them. All right. As tradition has it. Um, NDC, please turn it down for us. NDC, kindly turn it down. All right, so that's the arrival of the parliamentary candidates for the NDC. Eric. Adam Agbana, please turn it down for us. Turn it down, turn it down. Honorable, honorable, please take your seats. Honorable, please take your seats. NDC, please go back to your seats. Thank you, NDC. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's continue this morning. And as you can tell, with all the pomp and pageantry, that was the grand arrival of the parliamentary candidates for the NDC, Eric Adam Agbana for the NDC. But sir, I want to come to you. As tradition has it, you are the overlord of the place. You are our father. You are welcoming us here into this constituency. Your remarks and what you want the world to know about Ketu North, please. Yeah, thank you. As I, I said earlier. Um, before you go and say, with due respect, please, NDC, this umbrella is blocking our view for the cameras. Is it okay to take it away? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please take it away. Thank you. Thank you. We already have the canopy, so we don't need more umbrellas. All right, sir. Let's go on. Yeah, thank you. As I indicated earlier, my name is Anthony Abogodo, the Municipal Chief Executive of Ketu North. And I want to say that Ketu North is a, a very peaceful uh, constituency. And uh, for some time now, since we started the uh, 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 democracy, uh, NDC has been uh, winning this constituency in terms of the parliamentary and uh, I want to say that uh, the, develop the needed development that we wanted, I don't think we have, we have seen it uh, in, uh, in the parliamentary wise, but uh, for uh, the government, we have done what uh, we all know that has brought uh, a great transformation to Ghana now. And uh, we are saying that we want to continue with the uh, developmental agenda that we have set for ourselves. And uh, we, we, we think that uh, where we have gotten to now, and if we continue, if we break the eight and continue with our good work, 
uh, Ghana will see a tremendous change. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Before we move on this morning, we, the TV3 team here in Ketu North, want to specially thank Togbe Prince Ahiadro. He's the managing director of White Dove Hotel. He's been very, very kind to us in terms of our accommodation and welfare. Thank you so much, sir. Togbe Prince Ahiadro, the managing director of White Dove Hotel. We do appreciate you, sir. Thank you so very much. All right. I think you were absent when we started the official introduction. You just walked in. I missed the grand pomp and pageantry. I'm sure your people understand why it was like that. But officially, this is TV3's community manifesto, and we are in Ketu North. May we know who you are. Kindly pass the microphone to him. Good morning to you, Cookie, and to our colleagues from the other side and to everyone here. My name is Eric Edem Agbana. I'm the incoming, I'm the incoming member of parliament for the Ketu North constituency. I happen to be the NDC's parliamentary candidate, hoping to garner 95% of the vote on December 7th to win this constituency. So you are welcome to Joje the district capital for my constituency. Let me pass on the microphone to my two other colleagues so they can introduce themselves. They've done that already. You were not here. You came in quite late. Fine. I'm sorry. They've done that already. All right. So before we begin, MPP, please slow it down. Thank you. Mama o merakuku minwai, minwai. Davi opete merakuku minwai on both sides. All right. Community members, are you here? Yeah. Ketu North, are you here? Yeah. We've heard from the MC, now we want to hear from you. If you want to speak this morning about anything bothering you in Ketu North, this is the time to do so. From youth unemployment, to education, to health, to sanitation, whatever it is, to infrastructure, whatever you want to talk about. If you want to speak from the right side, this is your microphone. Shall we have the line up? How many people want to speak from the NDC side? How many people want to speak from the MPP side? I love to always hear from the women because they are on ground. They know exactly what's going on. But yes, if you're a gentleman here as well, whether old, young, or even a child, you have something to say about Ketu North, this is the time to do so. Shall we have them come to the microphone? Sir, do we have you? Yes, you can come to the microphone. We are going to be very fair this morning. The same number of people who speak from the right will be the same number of people who speak from the left. So let's be very guided. But before we continue, this is live on TV3 and we are very mindful and intentional about language. So please watch your language this morning. No insults, no harsh words. If you do that, we'll take you off TV and we'll go off TV for Ketu North. Let's make it very beautiful. I've got three individuals on my right. Does that mean on the left there's nobody coming? Come to the microphone. I want to see all three of you. It can be comments, it can be questions, whatever it is. Let's start. And please, Maria Kuku Ameko Aponude, Menye and Discle and Pipito de Dolo. Even if you are neutral, if you don't belong to any political party. You are actually the ones we are looking for. You are the ones we want to speak to. So please, you don't have to be MPP. You don't have to be NDC. You don't even have to be an independent candidate. Whether Cheddar, Afro Franto, whichever, whichever of the movements you belong to, you can also speak. So it's not restricted to only MPP, Claire NDC. Akpenami. Sir, we want to start with you this morning. Introduce yourself. Let's know who you are and what you do in this constituency. All right, so my name is Indichi Wanda Waidia. Okay. Uh, I am the director of research for the Dynamic Youth Movement of Ghana. Okay. Now, I have... Dynamic Youth, youth movement, movement of, of Ghana. Ghana. You are the director of, of research. research. Yes. Okay. Now, when was this movement constituted? It was constituted in 2018. Okay. Yes. So All right. So, if you remember very well, we were those who took Kenneth Foriata to court over yes. the 2.25 yes. billion yes. dollar bond. Yes. So All right. So, Let's move on. Now, I have... Four questions. Four. Okay. 
The first one. Wait. Questions thrown to both sides. No, questions thrown to the MC and the MPP. Okay. First question. Mm. We were told in the manifesto of the MPP that each year we would have one million dollars. It has been seven years and nine months. My question, where is the seven million to eight million dollars that Ketu North people deserve for their development? Okay. Go on, go on, go on. Can you go on? Question number two. Okay. Question number two. The people of Ketu North were promised one district, one factory. Three years ago, we saw a warehouse built just opposite the district assembly. That warehouse has been keeping air and rodents for the past five, six years. My question, what has been the use of the taxpayers' money that have been used to build that warehouse? Your third question. Question number three. In this country, in Ketu North, we have seen a video, a video that popped up some six months ago when the delivery tracker of the MPP was out. And categorically, it was done by the acting chairman of the MPP regarding the cassava processing factory that was supposed to alleviate poverty in our area. So what's the question? Um, turn it down for us, MPP. NPP, please, in an orderly manner, if you are welcoming your PC, please, in a very orderly manner. All right, that was quite a volcanic entry. That was quite a volcanic entry. Thank you, NPP. If you may move back to your seats, we will so much appreciate that. Thank you very much. All right, just to show respect to whom respect is due, I'm sure you are done with your three questions, sir. You're not done, you're left with the last one. But I've picked three already. I've picked the cassava. I've picked the $1 million and the warehouse. I, I have four questions. Oh, you have four questions. Yes. Okay, so just finish. Fourth, yes, please. So, the fourth question goes to the MC directly. Okay. Yes. I want to know, over his seven and a half or more years he has served at MC, right. can he mention any ten places that the people of Ketu North had water from the assembly under his watch? Okay. All right. Thank you very much. So those are the first four questions coming from the first speaker. But just to give respect to whom respect is due, sir, we just witnessed your grand volcanic entry. Can he pass the microphone to him so he can tell us who he is? Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning, my dear. My name is Enoch Amagbeleto. I'm the parliamentary candidate for the new patriotic party in Ketu North constituency. All right. Thank you so much. This is TV3's Community Manifesto. We are taking questions currently. First question, or four, four, four of the first questions have come from one single constituent to the MCE, and I'm sure to your leadership as well, but we'll take another one from the side. Yes, sir, good morning. Good morning, Bella. My name is Cookie T. Oh, all right, sorry. My sister Bella is back home it's in not Accra. Here. Thank you very My much. My name is Cookie T. Okay, Cookie. Yes, let's go on, sir. Uh, I am Prince, and I am the Voter Regional Secretary of the National Policy Crusaders Association of Ghana. Okay. Cookie, this voter region in which we are. Mm. For that matter, care to not, is bedeviled with a tragedy. And that tragedy is underdevelopment. 
And this underdevelopment is born out of our MPs prioritizing their delegates over the constituents. Okay. In the year 2004, mm. I come from a village called Pokuve. Okay. It is located between Okavu and Apipe. When our current member of parliament, Dr. James Kluche Aveji, came there to seek for the first mandate in the year 2004, yes. he told us that when elected into office, the first thing he will see to is to make sure that he will construct the road from Okavu to Apipe. Now, on that stretch, that is the road from Okavu to Apipe, mm. there is a dam that always overflow its banks mm. and crossing the road. And when that happens, students who are supposed to come to school from Agodeke to Pokufa do not get the opportunity to come because of the flood crossing the road. Mm. And the dam, as we speak now, has deteriorated as a result of lack of dredging. Okay. Cookie. Yes, sir. As we speak now, that road has deteriorated. I want to ask my brother Enoch that 20 down the lane, his uncle could not fulfill a promise that he was supposed to fulfill. Okay. No. No. Adam, sorry. Adam. Adam, Adam please sorry. don't incite your people. Adam. Adam, respectfully, please. Don't incite your people, please. Respectfully. Cookie, cookie, cookie. The issue is that my, my, my parliamentary candidate is Enoch. So the name is all over my mat. So if I mention Adam, it is because I don't recognize him. Now, going forward, going forward, I want to ask Adam that this is a promise made by the uncle. 20 years down the lane, students from Agoreke are not coming to school because of flood. Is he different from his uncle or he's coming to continue the legacy and the dynasty that the uncle started? Okay. Thank you very much. For, wait, 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 please. For the rest of Ghana, unfortunately, we are not from Ketu North. We yeah. just want to understand. Is he blood related? That's why you're saying his uncle. Oh, I am saying that his uncle uh -huh. because number one, number one, he is coming to replace him. Oh, two, two, okay. two. Not two. because they are related they by are blood. They are related. They are related. They are related. Not because they are related. They are related. How do you know? Oh, they are related. Are they related? Oh, they are related. All right. Adam is they here to speak for himself. So, okay. so, so he should answer the question. Okay. He should tell us the people of Ohabu, right. Bakuva to our people, okay. why that road is still like that. Right. And what he's coming to Thank do. Thank you very much it. for your Thank question. You. Thank you. Okay. Um, if you ask me, those are a number of questions I think must be addressed before we go to the second speaker so that we don't lose sight of the very important questions that have been asked. So I'll go to, shall I come to the MCU or I should come to you, sir? I should come to you for the response. All right. They were directed at the MC, so I was hoping the MC. One was directed to me. One, which, which particular one? Because the there one was the one I did. I did the video of the 1D1F program. So the cassava, the cassava one processing, yes. Okay, sure. Let's go. Yeah, Cookie, thank you. Once again, I want to greet our chiefs and opinion leaders of the four traditional areas of the cartoon of. I'm talking of Penny, Georgia, Afifa, and Veta. Straight to the question, one was directed to me. Yes, it is true that I did a video of the 1D1F as seen in our performance tracker. Yes, it is just surprising that after the 32 wasted years of NDC in Parliament in Katuno, Sir, please hold on. They will be here. Sir, hold on. They will be here. Sir, hold on. Um, team, shall we have the footage of the Kasa? Is this, is this what we are talking about, sir? Exactly. That is the Kasa. This is what we are talking factory. about. Exactly. Okay. Move on, sir. Yeah, let me repeat. After 32 wasted years of sending NDC to Parliament, it is so sad that they'll be here this morning asking us to give account of staying in office for seven years. But going straight to the question, yes, that cassava processing factory is truly, as we can see on the screen, it is still there and all machines are installed. The issue we had was with the transformer. 
which was installed about three months ago. We hope that sooner or later, that factory will kick start work and our youth in Katunov will get employment. Thank All you right. very much. No, hold on, sir. We just want to understand, when was this factory constructed? It was constructed about seven years ago. And seven years ago? Yes. It is still not operational. Exactly. First, to benefit cookies. the people of Ketunov. Cookies. Yes, sir. The first issue we had was land litigation from the landowners. After we put up the building, that has used the assembly. I'm assembly member of the assembly and an FAA chairman of the assembly currently. So the issue has put a hold on the project for more than four or five years. Okay. It was after it was settled amicably okay. that we now asked for transformer. Okay. And after transformer was installed, we are waiting for power to be connected to the factory okay. for work to kickstart. Thank you. The people of Ghana just want to understand because this is live on TV. It's for the consumption of the whole country. And we just want to ask, if this is a governmental project, then I want to believe that government made sure it secured a safe portable land for the construction of this factory exactly. why would government go for a land that has litigation on it yeah, why it the chiefs cookies. of ketu north don't want good for their people why won't they release a land that is litigation free cookies. for them to have a factory cookies. we live in a part of ghana yeah. where land is owned by individuals and families chiefs don't own land in the volta region oh. so this issue is different from other side some of the family members were seen and agreement was reached with them so you mean after, to say that yes. in the volta region yes chiefs don't own land chiefs don't own land in the volta region okay. i'm saying it on authority okay land is owned by individuals and families in the volta region okay. so our issue is different thank you all right well you the people of ketu north are here to let us know what the truth is Let's know exactly what the situation is here. There was another question um, about a setting warehouse. MCE, would you please want to address that for us? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, about the warehouse. Uh, he made mention that the, uh, the warehouse is not in use. I want to say that the warehouse is in use. We are using the warehouse and uh, as we speak now, the rice is being stored there, paddy rice is being stored there, and uh, uh, people who want to come and buy from the constituency, they come there to buy rice. Do you Thank have you. pictorial evidence of the warehouse that is in use so we can display it yes, on the we screen? Have, we, we have the picture. Team, they are saying that the warehouse which is actively in use, they've got a pictorial evidence of it. If you have it, please put it on the screen so we all can witness. I'm wondering why a constituent will say it is not in use, but the MC says that it is in use. Sir, when was it completed, by the way? When was it completed? It was completed in 20, I think 20, 2020. It was completed in 2020? Yes. So as we speak now, you mean there's rice storage in this warehouse? There's rice storage. What else is being stored in this warehouse? It's only rice. Only rice yes. at the moment. At the moment. Okay. I am sure there are responses from the NDC side. Um, you remember your questions, don't you? There was a question about your uncle. Yes, you can continue because I remember there was a question about one million, one district, one million, and it's been seven years. So he's demanding for about seven million and change. Please, the microphone. Please speak up, Alessi. Please speak, Alessi. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. He asked about $1 million uh, per constituency. The $1 million per constituency that government promised, it was not a, a promise that the money, $1 million, should be sent to the each constituency. The $1 million that we, we promised, we can see that, that uh, we have... Uh, we use part of it to buy ambulance for the constituency. So one you constituency, mean, one ambulance. All right. So you mean the one million was brought to the constituency? All right. No. Okay. They did not bring, we did not promise that we are bringing one million dollars to the constituency. We promised that the one million dollar was used on the constituency. So. 
we can see the ambulance that we, uh, we, we, we have as a constituency. What else has been brought out of the one million? Anyway, Where, the warehouse is part of the one million dollar. This warehouse that you showed us yes, is part yes. of the one million. Yes. Okay, and the ambulance is also part of the yes, one million. It's, it's part. All right, we'll get into all of it. No worries at all. Adam, do you remember your questions? But first of all, clarify for us: Are you related to the member of parliament in the area, Honourable James Kulutiavet? Is that your uncle? Thank you, Cookie. Cookie. Before I answer your question i came here with some documents that i want to share with my friends from the npp the first one is a list of achievements by our mp the honorable dr james Kluche Averji. i am generous enough we are generous enough to share four copies with them so that in case they can challenge any of the items listed here. They can. So I'm giving all of them a copy. So, Cookie, give them a copy. Everybody, you can also keep a copy for yourself. Cookie. Well, they, they will share it amongst themselves. I also brought here a copy of Ajogbe, which is my pledge and President Mohammed's pledge to the people of Ketu North. I'm sharing copies. Wait, hold on, with them. hold on I to the pledge. The no. We are not there yet. No, we'll, we'll get there. No, I no, no. So we'll get them. there. We'll get there. Don't worry. We'll when get we get there, there, yeah, I can share with we'll them. We'll get to the pledge. Now, we'll get to the pledge. The question, question of whether or not the Honourable Doctor James Kluche Averji, we just want to know, as my uncle, Cookie, if there is a way, if there is a way that I can legally go to court. Or approach any institution to make Dr. James Kluti Averji either my father, my direct uncle, or even my senior brother, I will gladly do that. I am proud of him. I am I am proud of his achievements. I am proud of his integrity as a member of parliament, and I am proud that he has served this constituency very well. Okay, but just hold to on. answer the question. Hold on, hold okay. on. No, 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 hold on, hold I on. I am not. Hold on, okay. hold on. MPP, MPP, he will answer every single question, but we beg you. This is live on TV. You are disrupting the programming. Please, placards down. Take your seats. Please, you are disrupting our programming. On my left side, respectfully. Please, you are disrupting our program. Respectfully, please, Adam, answer the question. Yeah, so, as to whether or not the Honorable Dr. James Kuti Averji is my uncle, Cookie, I have on many occasions stated my family line. There is no blood relation between Dr. James Kuti Averji and I. There is no blood. But I am saying, that that for me is a very trivial issue. I would wish that my late father is even replaced by Honorable Dr. James Kuti I would be very glad if I am related to him by blood. All right. But we are not related. Let's get to the substantive now issues. Now let's get to the question. Cookie, the gentleman asked that the dams in Okabu and the Pokuva areas have not been dredged. And for him, that is what makes the MP a non-performing MP. That is what he's claiming. I think that his question is a serious indictment on the performance of the MCE. Because if the assembly, if the assembly cannot, if the assembly cannot dredge a common dam, then I don't know what this assembly has done over the last eight years was this something Especially, was this something that the mp promised the people because if he promised them then they can hold him accountable did he promise cookie, did he promise cookie cookie he claimed that the honorable dr james kluti averji promised i wasn't there but and i'm saying that when you look at how the district assembly works and it's important to do this education the mc is right here after all tax revenue is collected annually, 
5% of that is lodged into the common fund account. The amount that comes into the assembly, it is 5% of that that is released to the MP's common fund. The money is not even lodged with the MPs, but is lodged in an account where the district coordinating director and the DFO and the MCE are signatories to it. And so if anybody makes the claim that a dam that is not right is so important to his people, and for which reason he stands for that to ask a question, and yet the MC is sitting here and cannot answer what he has been able to do about that dam in the last eight years, that is gross incompetence. That is super incompetence. Again, 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 Cookie, Cookie, I believe that the people of Ghana are watching. I have a principle, and the principle is that politics must be done devoid of lies. It is very shocking, shocking, that the MCU today is claiming that the warehouse is functional. When only yesterday, at exactly 1.35 p.m., my photographers were on the site, the place was closed, it is now home to rodents, and we will give you the pictures. Don't tell lies about a non-functional warehouse. Anita, is not do we have the pictures? We will have the pictures. If we I have the pictures, let's see the pictures. Again, 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 cookie, cookie. Again, again, isn't it interesting? You. Isn't it interesting that it has taken a government to begin a project on a land that is not secured and the excuse they give us is that there was land litigation. What kind of gross incompetence is this? That you cannot secure simple land, simple land, simple land, land, and embark on a project. You cannot secure a simple land as an assembly. And you go on to build a structure on a land that is under litigation. This is gross incompetence that they are exposing. I can tell you on authority that that cassava factory or whatever it is called has never been functional. And for the last seven years that they claim they put it up, when you go, the only thing that structure has produced are snakes, rodents, mouse, and all the other things. There is nothing there that shows that structure Eric. is... Yes, that is the structure. This so is the warehouse. This, this, this picture was wait, taken wait, just wait. yesterday. This photo was taken at 1 p.m. 1.35 p.m. yesterday. 1.35 p.m. yesterday. I challenge your producers. It's not very far from here. Okay. If you can go there this morning and carry it live, you will see a bunch of liars that we are talking about. Liars. Complete lies. Complete lies. This picture was taken yesterday. Complete lies. 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 All right. Shall we have the next set of comments? Unless you want to quickly, just two minutes, because if it's it's not even supposed to be a banter. So quickly, the microphone is with him. The microphone is with him. Yeah, cookies. I want to make this clear. Okay. I didn't say on this platform that the one D one one D one F factory is working. I didn't say that yet. What I said was. The project was completed and there is a transformer. Transformer was installed, but it's yet to kick start. That was the word I used on this platform. Adam, please listen to me carefully. I said transformer was installed and the project is yet to kick start. That is the English word I used. About to kick start does not mean it's in operation. Thank you. Okay. Can I respond? Can I respond? Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Just two, two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. I think I think that I think that when you are in a banter, especially my It my, is not a banter. Yes, no. Or if you are in a debate, and my advice to our friends in the NPP is that you ought to pay attention to the things that I say attentively. I said on authority that the warehouse is not functional warehouse. Then on the issue of the cassava processing factory, I spoke about your gross incompetence in your inability to secure land, Thank common you. land. All right, I Adam. never said you said Thank you. Let's the move factory on. was functional. Adam, it's okay. Can you listen at, at, attentively to me? Well noted. Let's move on. Sir, we are ready for you. Um, Please come close to the microphone. Yeah. 
I am called the coup Edward Kuma. Um, Katu North, if you don't keep it down, we will not hear anything that is being said from both sides. So please keep it down. Merakumi uh, Joe. I am called the coup Edward Kuma. Just come close to the microphone, please. I, I am educationist. Right now, I'm working at the district education office. Uh, it has been a long time now where I stay a key to Georgia. That road has been under construction for many years now. At times, we don't see the contractor. At times, contractor will come and they say they have no valid document. They sack them. Uh, the recently one is the GS International. They, uh, they were constructing the road. But when the change of government came, they all gone. I don't know whether the government awarded the contract or whoever in charge and who is responsible for their, uh, for their sacking. That is where they refuse to construct that road till today. That's one. Uh, that goes to the both sides. Whatever they know about that road, let us hear now. What's the name of that road? Aki Joja Penyi Agbozuba. Okay, I'm sure they heard you. That's your question. Another one. Okay, two questions only, please. Okay. Only two. Um, the education in the Ketun of this street is going down year on year. Parties are coming, still the result is not acceptable as we want it to be. Um, I wanted to know from our Honorable DCE that as we are speaking right now, the computers at the office, they were all broken down. The, our computers that we used to work are broken down. And our vehicle also is stand still over there. It's not working. So I wanted to ask him what plans do they, as he has, so that our supervision in the schools will be a very efficient right. so that learning can continue okay. as we want. Okay, please take note of the questions. On this side, please. Sir, it's your turn to speak to us. Please go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Bukiti, yes, thank sir. you very much. I must commend you for this program because it's one of the best that we will have. Uh, I will go local. Please do. But if you can mix it up a bit too, I'll be grateful. Okay. Thank you. I won't kunamba Aika Novinyak Banto Avabia question to a more Aka Koyida Ohabutu Apipa. Ika Miapa Honorable James Cluche Averji Adung Benami Le twenty twenty Ber Akodadama Ber Ber Ye Walker Ayo Bulea Makte Runa Mio Hamana Mania Bada Mania and Akachungu. But come to my substantive question Majiba Mapia Honorable Adam Agbana Ber Aber parliamentary candidate and the democratic dispensation mari akow dan alo acclamation o wana ni le wana no le over office all right thank you very much for that question i'll come to you for your response and then i'll go to adam he should answer the question you, you don't want to respond any you don't oh you're not done one yes, more please yes. one That's more just one question yes please one more one more the second one is okay i overheard adam speaking to people of chaveme about jobs he asked them to name to to write their names for the various security uh, services jobs you heard him yes he said it in the constituency yes, yes. okay in his campaign for security services. Yes. Okay. But he, the same person, claims that we, the MPP, collected money from people to go to security service. Meanwhile, the one who collected the money 
is with them. The one who collected the money, scamming people that they are doing security services. These are serious allegations. Yes. You've got it's, evidence. It's with them. You have evidence. Yes. I said it's with them. The person who it's scammed with people. Yes. How much did the person collect? I, I don't know anything about that one, the money. But I can tell you for the fact. Wait, I can wait. Tell you for the fact. We want to understand. Yes. Let's understand. Yes. Wait. Yes. When? Yes. For the fact. Please, no disruption. No disruption. We just want to understand. The rest of Ghana are not in Ketu North. Yes. How many people were monies collected from and how much can you confirm? A group of people. A, a group, group of people, yes. Maybe 100. From our party. Will it be up 100? Oh, it's, it won't be up to 100. It won't be up to with 100. The, with the, not, with the tension, intention that okay. they are going to get them into security to, services. But do you have an idea how much was collected from every individual? That, that individual, individual amount paid is in different trenches. So you don't know. So I can't tell but, the fact But you the do money. know that the person who scammed them and collected the money is with the NDC. Yes, it is. It is collected allegedly. So it's allegedly. Alleged. Yes, allegedly. So you want him person, to answer. That person is with them now. So what's the question? Yes. The, the last one. No, no, no. So what's the question about this one? You want to know? No, I want to know uh -huh. how, which capacity right as if it, if if and i know it won't happen if he assumed the position of an mp okay which capacity is he going to have to recruit people the names so security that he's services yes all right then my last question no 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 two questions each it's a lot of people who want to talk so please two please you want to respond to the questions that came from this side so wait i want to be very fair this morning you don't want to respond, but I should come to the questions that were directed to Adam. Okay. All right, Adam. Now, we all witnessed your election in this constituency. And if I do remember, it was only a difference of one vote, which became very debatable. Most people on ground that day were saying that when it was time for counting, and you realized that you were losing, and some way, somehow, you won by just one vote. You vanished from the voting center or from where the counting was being done and then later on your case was taken to national and that was when it was decided that you are the winner the people want to know if truly you believe that ketu north voted for you or your position as pc was just put on you acclaimed on you okay thank you so much and i want to thank the gentleman for this very important question. Okay. Because two questions, I, so one yes. about security services I'll, I'll and one about your position as let PC. Me, let me begin. Let me begin with the issue of the security services. Cookie, the allegations he has made are very serious allegations. They are actually criminal allegations. I will be glad if he the one alleging, and I believe we can have the video afterwards is able to mention the person's name so the person can either take him on or find a way of refuting because we have moved beyond this politics we have moved beyond we have moved beyond this politics of empty allegations and cookie one innovation i have introduced into the politics of Ketu north is that on every platform in every campaign engagement, we take extensive video coverage. The people of Chiaveme are here. I never, never, for once, ask the people of Chiaveme to write their names for security services. What we did was that I have a program ongoing called the Adam Power 500, where young people who want to become artisans in various fields write their names and they are enrolled in fact just last week saturday 167 beneficiaries and we have pictures we have videos took their training they took their turns at the top and you have the videos being displayed wait 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 artisans okay yes artisans 167 167 and we and can produce all the names from the various electoral areas and it is the assembly members who filled the forms and brought their people. They are here. They can confirm. 
Okay, wait. That is the practical leadership. So you can see it. Where are these people supposed to end up? Are they supposed to end up with their own businesses or they're supposed to be recruited yes. into Good. So the aim of the program is that in the first week of November, we are graduating all the 500 and we are supporting them with ovens, we are supporting them with sewing machines, we are supporting them with hair dryers and all the equipment that they have. And this is ongoing. Wait, wait. The beneficiaries are here. Adam, honorable, please wait. Yes. All right. These are things that we'll talk about later. But then, did you say you never promised the people of Ketu North that they should write their names? Cookie, 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 I will give the gentleman, I will give the gentleman about an hour to go search. We have video recordings. If he's unable to prove, I can assure you my team and I will take him on. We have, we have, we have video evidence of all our okay. campaign engagement and all so right. that is never true okay cookie well, yes let me move on to the question let me move on to the question of elections let me move on to the question of whether or not i am a legitimately elected or you are claimed. candidate or i was acclaimed cookie cookie the ndc in ketu north has always been very democratic since 92 there has always been election of parliamentary candidates for the ndc if there is a party in ketu north that is noted for not holding primaries it is the mpp wait 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 cookie cookie go ahead on the 13th of may cookie on the 13th of may 2023, the NDC held internal presidential and parliamentary primaries. Here in Ketu North, ours was held in Penny. In Penny, I won the election with 360 votes. Let's move to the last election. Let's move to the last one because I want to give them the opportunity. Okay. So I won the election with 360 votes. My closest contender, my closest contender had 359 votes. All right. After, after three recounts. Adam, hold the on The recounts were live. I think it's important you hold give me on. the time. I'll Go. give you the time. No, let me. Let I'll me come finish. back. There's yes. a reason I'll come back. There's a reason I'll come back. This is live on TV3. But quickly, we just want to give you the opportunity. Moments ago, I asked you to respond to some of the questions and you said no. I should come to Adam. I just want to find out. Do you want to respond now or Adam should continue? Do you want to respond now or Adam should continue? PC, you want to say something or Adam should continue? No, I want to say something. You want, okay, please yes. go ahead. Okay, let me finish, okay. I need to finish. No, 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 that please question. go ahead. You will finish it. You will, you will finish it. Okay. Should he continue? No, I want to say something. So quickly, please. Yeah. Please, I want to say here that the uh, Adam Agbana gave us some uh, a, a list of uh, a list of projects that the MP has done. It is unfortunate that the MP himself is not here today. Please, please, calm down, calm down. We cannot hear the D, the, the DC. Please. We cannot hear him. Speak to it your is project. unfortunate that the MP himself is not here today. You know, in catching off, as we are talking of... Uh, uh, is, is that the question you are answering, sir? No, no, no. Uh, the, oh, the, I thought you wanted to answer the question. So if it's not that one, then Adam, finish. Thank you. Finish. Thank you, Cookie. Thank you, Cookie. So, thank you, Cookie. So after 13th, May, your television station TV3 was here and they covered two different recounts, which still affirmed me as the winner. As it is in elections, you, my opponent, my opponent, my opponent disagreed, my opponent disagreed and he petitioned national. When we met the National Executive Committee, 
the two parties were asked to come with their lawyers. The party in accordance with Article 55.2, and I can dash them a copy of the NDC Constitution, decided to, decided to, decided to look into the issues. Then they realized that when you use the serial numbers of the ballots in contention, there was no foreign material, and I was declared the winner because I won. Now, if there is, if, if, if there is any candidate who has benefited from injustice, it is my brother from the NPP. The NPP open nominations. One, I would be their former chairman filed. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, till today, when the Honorable Kofi Jameshi, when the Honorable Kofi Jameshi decided to withdraw from the race, I would he was supposed to go on a post. For whatever reasons, the NPP decided to drop him without any explanations and the open nominations. He is a product of an injustice and he is a byproduct because if the early elections had gone, he wasn't even part of the first contest. That is the candidate of injustice. I was duly elected All right. and the EC Adam, has affirmed. Well noted. Come December 7th, I will give him the knocking of his life with over 95 percent sir you may respond please go ahead please go ahead cookies cookies it is it is i am just unfounded that we all know that in ghana in our electoral process it is a electoral commission that is mandated to declare a winner of an election. So if a political party decided to declare the winner in their party headquarters and they are here today contesting an election and thinking electoral commission, which they think is not credible to declare him, I am expecting them that come December 7th, we should go to NDC headquarters and declare them as election whether they win or not cookies. Thank you. No, I need to come in. Cookie, cookie, cookie. Cooking, cooking, All right. cooking, cooking, cooking. So we will move on to cooking. the next no, set of questions. No, sir. It's okay. Please. Thank you, Adam. Adam, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. My, my, my answer is that, my answer, my answer to the NPP is that, my answer to the NPP is that if any of you believes, if any of you believes that I was not properly elected, for which reason, I cannot be a candidate in the election. Go to court. If for any All reason right. <laughs> you believe, okay. why did the electoral commission to, thank you, accept Adam. my nomination? Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Sir. Yeah. Not, not right now. Let's hear from you, please. Yeah. No, it's too Hello. Let's hear. Hello. Okay, I can hear you. Cookie, good yes, morning. Sir. Morning. You're welcome to Cutting Off. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Cookie, I want to use this great opportunity to. My name is Augustine Desire. Okay. A teacher by profession. Let's go, Augustine. Uh, Cookie, I want to use great this great opportunity to congratulate Honorable Eric Edemagbana. All right. Uh, I want to ask him what has prompted him before he wants to represent the good people of Katunov okay. in the ninth parliament. Okay. That's my first question. All right. Cookie. Hello, sir. Cookie. No. One more, just one more. Yes, one. Okay. Cookie, make a jibu masem bong poko ya. Abi am miapa municipal chief executive. Okay. Honorable Anthony Ablode. Bedi, apenye ya olesiji. Ati ni atoshi amo kilometer de ka. Bedi pa jururu to la ketuno fa. Ati ni atoshi jia. What's the question? I didn't hear. Cookie. What's the question? My question is that. Can, can the MC point to us a kilometer of road constructed under him? A kilometer of, of road. road constructed under him. Okay. In Ketunov. In Ketunov. So road and then why you are vying for the country. No problem. Hello, sir. FO, come to the microphone. Okay. Let's hear you. Let's hear you, sir. Let's hear you. Yeah. 
My name is Charles Michael Agbajuke. Okay, Charles. I am a teacher by profession. Charles, come close to the microphone. We can't hear. I am a teacher by profession. Yes, teacher Charles. I come from Agov electoral area, which include Tovi, Toviga, where the former MP, Dr. Avergis Manda comes from. For the purpose of the electorate, I want to go local. Honorable Veggie, what the? Eke ye Tovi, Afi Kenya Hamacho, Achinono Melio, Achinono Mi Melio. Ye, Mia Gulea, Honorable Vagina, Minaba, Empire, Maha, Nguai Dogolave, a constituency. Ta Palab Empire, a so honor. Ta for the past twenty years, been MP, and now there, Achinono Mi Melio. Unfortunately, in this 21st century, Tovito, Dam no mole, Dama, and you, Pamagoto, Dama no Agbe, Wola, Alochimuna, Atode of Ya, Kofi, Bamita Kone, Majima Bia, Honorable Adam Bari, Fifiere, Onyaba, and GCMP Sori, Okola Development Vana Katunofa, and I have so for Ina. Number two, what, what was the second question? Number two. Number two. Okay. What's the second question? Let's go. Number two. Yeah. Let me hear the agofi. For the past 32 years that we have been voting for NDC to represent us in parliament. I don't go be a company go to Sijila Govio. Kakaya MPP Vajijia. Onami Electricity Class Kuho. Mabia Onabo Adam Bari. Nazu MPRA. I saw Pona Rogan went up on a half. Wait, wait. I didn't hear the second question. What's the second question, please? What do you know? I can't hear anything. Please calm down. Summarize your second question in English for me. I cannot hear. What did you what's the question, please? The second question. Yes, the second question. Yeah, the, the question has to do with voting for NDC for the past 32 they years. You haven't done anything. Yes. Yes, continue. Yes. Voting for them for the last how many years and 32 years. Yes, to and represent us in parliament. Okay. They told us that the duty of MP is to make law, not to bring development. Okay. For that matter, when you go to my, my village, Agovi, for the past twenty there's no water. Thirty two years, there's no development. Yeah. But when MPP comes to power, they give us electricity and uh, school okay. building block. Okay. Is that is Adam going to be MP? To break law or is bring it developed. Okay. That's the question. All right. Okay. So I'll give you the opportunity. You want to speak now? Yeah, the microphone is over there. And yes, the microphone is, is over there. Wait, 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 wait. Calm down so we can hear. Ashima. Ashima. Calm down. Ashima. So there was a question Ashima. about if you've been able to even add just one kilometer of a road in yeah. Ketu North. Okay, cookies. Thank you very much. Cookies, thank you very much for the opportunity. I'm just surprised that the NDC in Ketu North have no shame. When it comes to the issue of roads, the NDC's continuous holding on of the Ketu North parliamentary seat for 32 years have not done roads more than the MPP in Ketu North. I have a document in my hand from Adam Agbana this morning telling me that the NDC is responsible for the Sogakope to Akachi, Akachi to Ak Joje, Joje to Akanu, and then to Aplau Road. Meanwhile, this project was, this contract was awarded in 2005, and the contractors began work in 2006. At the time we were going into the post in 2008, the contractors on the Akachi Akanu Road were within Tajahu during all the civil works before we went into the 2008 elections. The NDC cannot claim ownership of this project as far as Ketu North and the Volta region is concerned. Then, with the same document, is asked the, the, with the same document, they are claiming ownership 
of the Henyi, uh, Henyi Penyi Road. Please, 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 let's keep quiet and listen. The, Penyi, the history, the history behind Penyi Ehi Road is that in 2016, in 2016, when the NDC realized they were losing the election, they awarded this road, 10.1 kilometer road, to Greenhouse International, a Chinese company. They never moved to site. In 2019, the contract duration elapsed, and the contract was supposed to be abrogated. It was extended, it was extended through the efforts of the Volta Regional Coordinating Council and the Volta Regional Minister. Memory down the lane, 2022, the Greenhouse International failed to come to site and do this road. As I speak now, the MPP government, through my lobbying skills, we are constructing the equipment when you wrote under what we call variation of agreement. Variation of agreement. It is being done. And work is 60% complete. Work on that road is 60% complete. Now, on the issue of roads, on the issue of roads, on the issue of roads, on the Eki Township roads, and then Eki to Agbozume, and Eki to Joje. Kuli Kokongui, a little over 20 kilometer stretch. GS International was on site and was about stealing a key township road before the issues of the gravel pit arose, where our own people, some NDC elements, who, who when projects begin, will be harassing contractors. As I speak with you, they will go to they will go to Dambe and tell contractors to slow down the project. They will go to Egi and tell contractors to slow down the project. Time have catch up with them. Time have catch up with them. Time have catch up with them. All right. Catch you now. On, on, on the issue of... We can't get... Wait, of wait. Honorable, wait. Honorable, wait. Catch you now. Honorable, wait. Honorable, wait. Catch you now. Catch you now. Get you not. I will take you off TV. We will end our community manifesto here. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, because you are not controlling your people. Get you not. I'm sitting in Cookies. the middle. Can you melende kesel? Cookie tea. Apa Please hold on, sir. Okay. Ketu North, NDC, Medde Kukunami, Medde Kukunami, Medde Kukunami, Medde Kukunami. Sir, please go Kukiti, on. Kukiti, please. This one is a humble request. This one is a humble request. Please talk to your producers. What I'm hearing from this side is, just as my parliamentary candidate is speaking, the camera is off him, and that has been an observation. So please keep the camera on him for me. Thank you. Very good one. Very good one, Chairman. Um, please hold on. Please hold on. Please hold on. Hold on. I am Ketu North. Please. Ho turn it down. Turn it down. So this is what I will say. Hello, sir. The fact that the camera is off him does not mean that that's not what is being shown on TV. It's three cameras. And my technicians mix the photos and the motions and the pictures. So we are not deliberately taking him off. He is on TV. I just want to put that on record. There's such a thing called production. My well-abled cameramen know exactly what they are doing. The technicians at the back know exactly what they are doing. This is community manifesto. We are not here for any political party. Therefore, we have no malicious intention to disadvantage one and to advantage the other. That's not what we are here for. Sir, please continue. Yeah, Cookie, uh, on the issue of roads. Continue. And the deception from the NDC. 
Ketunos, oh uh, MPP, me have a PC that no pola. The above heavy road on the document from Madam Magbana is not an achievement of the NDC. This is a road project financed from the Millennium Challenge account, five hundred and forty-seven million dollars. It is not an achievement of the NDC. They should so, let's drop it. On the issue of Haveji to Machikasa Road, Haveji to Machikasa Road is no longer under contract. The contractor that began work in 2012 under the NDC has passed on. They have abandoned site. As we speak, the contracts have been abrogated and a new contractor is in the process of being awarded the contract to come to site. So there's no contract on that road. On the issue, on the issue of roads, my people, on the issue of roads, the only road, the only road, the member of parliament after 20 years, the member of the, the chairman of finance committee of parliament, the chairman of public accounts committee did in this constituency is that they will go to Hipper Road. And if you go there, you will see the, the nature of this road. It is so appalling that they did a shoddy work, a shoddy work. There was no value for money. They wasted the taxpayers' money. It is a shame to this constituency and municipality. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Two minutes, and then I'll cookie. take my next set of questions. Cookie. Adam, cookie. two minutes, please. Cookie. 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 Parliament. Parliament is a house for very serious business. Parliament is a house for serious deliberations. And for anyone who aspires to go to parliament, you must exhibit seriousness when you are talking about contracts, talking about documents. Point number one, and I'll plead with you to allow me raise five rebuttals to all that he has said. Point number one, I am happy he's making reference to the same document which is the achievement of our MP. The MP they claim did nothing. In this document, we have several other sectors. He glanced through all and decided to challenge road. It means it was he has because there was a question. No yes, words. there was a question. No, no, no. There was a question allow about me. road. Allow me. Adam, there was a question about road. Adam, there was a question. There was a question. So number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Point 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 number one. When you want to be a member of parliament and you read documents, you must read to understand and pay attention to the words. For example, you said a key to Penny Road. We have claimed that we constructed. Here on the document, it is stated awarded. It is actually highlighted for you to see in case. And you admitted, and in your submission, in your submission, you admitted that the contract was awarded, but the contractor left site. Now, your admission confirms everything that is here. Point, point number two. Point, point number two. Again, Haveji to Metricasa, the WF road. A road the NDC is committed to constructing come 2025. On this, on this document, it was again clearly stated that the contract was awarded. You said, yes, there was a contractor. He got the contract, but he died. What have you said different from what we have here? I think my brother should pay attention to the words in the document. Again, it is it is blatant falsehood and let the cameras capture this it is blatant falsehood to claim that the only road honorable honorable dr Aveji has constructed is the devago to hipper road it is a blatant falsehood but i wouldn't want to belabor the point i will let my brother give you even documents the contract documents and mention Many, many more roads that Dr. James Cruce Averging, even the Tajabu roads constructed by the NDC and Honorable Dr. James Cruce Averging.
Georgia Township Roads. All Georgia Township Roads, where you are. The roads have been constructed by Dr. Avedi. Now, finally, Cookie, finally. Finally, Cookie. There are two questions that the NPP has refused to answer. The first was a question about the number of boreholes that they have constructed. I am not yet a member of parliament, but I will show you I have constructed more boreholes than the entire assembly. They did not answer that. We'll they should mention. That. Thank we'll you so much. That. There are more if you give me the time, we'll go so we into it. Go to Pay attention to the things. Yes. You ought to please, read and understand, my brother. Let's go, please. Parliament respond. is a serious business. Thank you. It's hello. not for concept. Hello. Hello. Thank you, Eddie. Hello. Thank you. If you want to aspire to Parliament, you don't aspire to Parliament on deception and lies. The NDC has been very wicked to this constituency for the past 32 years. Now, on, on, on the, on the, on the Metricasa Havergi Road, it will interest you to know that the documents available at the highways regional office in Ho, when we cross check, they did not even award the entire stretch from Metricasa to Havergi. It was only from Havergi to Peta. The NDC has been very wicked. They've shortchanged us for so long. He who aspires, who, okay. he who aspires to go to parliament right. must arm himself with information. Okay. Must arm himself with information. Now, now, if you're talking about water, if you're talking about water, if you're talking about water in Ketunov, the NDC have not done water projects more than the MPP in Ketunov. All right, sir. The, the water in Georgia, the sir, water in Georgia, you was done by the MPP. To talk about the water in Egi was Honorable. done by the MPP. The Honorable. water in Beta was done by the MPP. The water in Pony was done by the MPP. If you go to Abulogui, Abulogui, the, the beautiful water Abulogui people are drinking was done by the MPP. The NDC should stop joking with us. We mean serious right. business. Okay. Mister, that is why we are coming with a more solutions. Okay. More solutions. All right. Okay. I'm coming back. I'm coming back to the questions. Constituents, I'll take one from this side and I'll take one. I'll come back and I'll come back. So it will be two each. Let's go, sir. Okay, please. I have two questions if you can permit me. Please. Ketu North. Ketu North. Please let the noise come down. Yes, sir. Let's go. Okay, on. so my name is Tagbalo Faith Kwashiga. Uh, I want to put my brother Enoch aside and ask the other two gentlemen questions. Uh, MC, your own people cheering you today have told you on many occasions that you are not doing anything for Ketu North. Today they are cheering you. When they brought street lights, you gave the street lights to Enoch to be sharing in his name. Don't you want a good name for yourself? Question number two. The Aplau noisy neighbors, please keep quiet. The Aplau whole road, which was constructed by the NDC and the Jerry John Rollins. A very beautiful road we've been using. I think I should speak ever. Akpa. Yes, sir. Please go ahead. All right. Um, my name is uh, Bedra Pascal Ransford. And uh, I have some questions for the, the other bedroom. Okay. Uh, Cookie, I know it is on record that uh, you were here during the NDC primaries. Yes. And my question is that uh, the EC, Electoral Commission here, have declared a tie which is a rerun in their primaries. And it is on record. And it is on record. A rerun. But they, the NDC, disagree. He, the PC, disagree with the EC. And my question is that uh, 
Now he has filed contesting to be a PC. Is he going to accept the verdict when we warn him? Okay. Is he going to accept if it's okay. peace? Okay. Because for, when, for we, the when records, he is being defeated, for the is records, he now going to accept the verdict? For the records, for the records, his candidacy has been accepted, endorsed, and confirmed by the EC. That is not true. So wait. That is not true. Cookie, that is not wait. true. Wait. Cookie, that is not wait. true. Wait. We have the uh, we wait. have the electoral commission here in Ketimov. But if I understand your question, you want to ask him that if the after, MPP wins, after will he accept it? The genesis of the question is that yes. my explanation is that he has disagreed with the EC. Okay. He has disagreed. Right. And wait to declare himself and now As the, the same EC is now the returning officer of this election okay is he going to accept after we want him okay or not okay. it is peace that we want all right and secondly okay uh, right. i would like to thank the the mce you can see the emphasis here and other one here that is the achievement of mpp okay and uh, and i want to put it on record that uh, today here cookie you are here calling this place Catherine north uh, municipal it is the MPP that give rise to this constituency okay that is the biggest achievement okay and this is what the the PC that I have to know now in addition to this I want to have a question for uh, our PC that is the uh, Enoch Amagleto okay we heard that uh, he is undergoing some uh, some training for the youth that is skill training and we want to know how many people so far that have been to this training and we also heard that uh, there is a work ongoing on the detector road for many years now on the road to apply road we want to know uh, what is happening on that very road okay. and we also want to know that um, we are told two that two questions uh, two questions thank you davi yeah davi yeah please go ahead all right Cookie tea. Yes, ma'am. Ways of uh, cutting off. Yo, yeah. Me a dog, but I'm a party, ma'am. Thank you. But I'm a cuckoo. My jam up beer. Me a poor mom of fear. And ya far. And ya banto in ya. I'm going to patience and here for better parts. From NDC communication team member. Ma be a bamba. A black barakade. And ya way called Ramfia. English. Let's uh, understand. I want to ask the MC, honorably, does he know the amount of a bowl of maize, In rice, and millet? Okay. We want to know. Is he aware? They okay. promise one district, one factory, okay. plenty for food and job. How much is a bowl of maize now? They call somebody incompetent at their time. How much is a bowl of maize? And how much is a bowl of curry? Second question. All right. The second question second is, question. you know, district assembly, they have been sending money. I overheard him say they do send money and the money is coming. I overheard him say that. He said they have been sending the one million per constituency. Fine. Granted that the money is coming. When you go to Georgia, uh, RC demonstration school, the roof, alcohol, I have floor color, suku hoji, majiba ma be MC, buddy. Not Gava Vamde, Alako Gazame. Okay, thank you. Gazame, thank you. Thank you, Betty. Thank you. Thank you, Betty. Thank you, Betty. Thank you, Betty. So, you are asking how much a bowl of maize millet yes. is in and, the area? And we have and problem how with our classroom. Money at the our assembly. classroom, too. Our thank classroom. You. What? Yes, ma. Thank you. Thank you. Second question before you respond. Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Hello, Akbar. Uh, Ketu North. Uh, Madam. Choboy. Choboy. All right, let it go down. Thank you. Your question, please. Madam Akbe. Uh, Madam Madia. NDC Habobo. Please speak into the microphone, sir. Speak into the microphone. Okay. He can add the Magbanal and Gona, but on Lamina to over communicate so Jiba a daughter come at him, the MPP by Jimmy out. Gaka Adam, but I have an uncle Avaji over Pentecost Church Homer, 
Vanda Minya be yoji donamo, o yi police, o yi customs, o yi immigration, o yi onwo. Ye nto ba koto kuma gawo, koka kha fano alo, government ya mana reka omo, ye fa kha gana oha. Okay. All right. Please, let's respond. Thank you. Thank you. I want to respond to the uh, question about... Yes. About the RC yes, uh, please. demonstration yes, bathroom please. law. Yeah, I, 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 want, I want to uh, uh, tell the lady that I want to say that disaster can happen at any time. So when a disaster strike and a, a, a rip of the, 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 the roof of the RC demonstration, you can use that as a yardstick to measure us. And secondly, he, uh, she was asking, uh, how much is a bowl of corn now? You know, the, uh, though the MPP brought uh, plenty for food and jobs, we can attest to the fact that, as we speak now, government is providing fertilizers to uh, farmers who are registered to... You can tell that I don't have energy in my chill boy because the energy here is overshadowing everything that we are doing. Please, the MCE is on the floor. Can we listen so we move on? Sir, please finish. Yeah, see, the lady asked uh, how much is a bowl of corn now? Yes, she we did. We can all attest to the fact that the planting for food and job phase one has benefited Ghanaians a lot. And the phase two, which is ongoing now, uh, is currently ongoing and uh, the, the farmers who are registered to, to be part of the phase two are receiving their fertilizers and uh, their, their But I don't think it still answers her question. She wanted you to tell her how much a bowl of rice and millet is. Do you have an idea at all? Uh, Cookie, yes, the, the fact of the matter is that it is not about the pricing. As we speak now, we have enough food security in Ketu North Municipality. Gone were the days under the NDC, under the NDC's watch in this municipality, our mothers, our wives buy maize, rice from Togo. Today, Ketu North is an our one leading producer of rice in the Volta region. Now, now our rice farmers, uh, they are now selling their rice into Togo. And then, and then, recently, the government of Ghana, Nana Dodakwe Kufwadu and Baumia, I have supported the member of parliament, Dr. Dr. James Averji, to get to farmers 400 bags of fertilizer, 300 bags of MPK, and 100 bags of urea to go to farmers. Please, let's ask them who are the beneficiaries of these fertilizers. 400 bags. Cookie. I am very happy uh, okay, okay. that let this me, issue let me I'm on the floor. that nobody gave me. He has I'm on the floor. He just wants to add to. You so, took over, so I thought you were done. When he took over, so please wrap uh, up for uh, us so uh, we can so respond. I want to say here that the uh, planting for food and job, uh, as uh, my brother said here, yes. the MP even benefited from it and uh, the NDC are also benefiting from, okay. from it. So okay. they are all aware okay. what is going on uh, as uh, Plenty for Food and Job okay. is concerned. Thank you. And uh, I want to add that uh, yes, the document Adam brought, my brother brought, as the MPP is moving on building WC toilets, it is unfortunate that our MP is still building KVIP, a pitch like trees at this modern Ghana. Okay. And he's not ashamed okay. to, 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 to write all these things and, and, right. and share to us that those are his, uh, what he uses his money Cookie. for. Okay. You, at this modern time, okay. you can use your money for uh, to build KVIPs. Thank you, sir. As Thank we are you. building 
WC you, for the communities. They are building KVIP. Cookie, Adam, you have any Cookie. response? Cookie, let me move on quickly. Yeah, let me quickly. share my time with my former MC. But one, quickly. it is very unfortunate that the MC will make this ridiculous argument that Honorable Dr. James Kuchi Aveji is still building KVIPs. In any case, whenever a letter from the MP comes to the assembly asking for release of funds, the purpose for the money is stated, and if you, a signatory to the account, allow for the money to be given for such purpose, it makes you complicit and makes you <laughs> guilty. Number two, this is a this this is projects from 2005. The last five public toilets that Honorable Dr. James Kuche Abeji commissioned, they are all WCs. Number three, the question from the Education Office. As I speak, the dishonest, incompetent MC claims that one million dollars comes to their constituency. But as I speak, the district education office does not even have a computer. Two weeks ago, and pay attention to this, two weeks ago, the municipal director of education, knowing my capabilities, was with me with a letter begging. And I am happy to tell him that on Tuesday, I am presenting 10 computers to his office, to the district assembly. They came asking me. Number, number four. I want your producers to put on the screen what the MPP describes as boreholes. My colleague from the MPP is going around deceiving Katunov that he has constructed 15 boreholes simply because the people can see clearly that the Magbana water for all projects. Two things are clear. Two things. I go, I go. Cookie, two things are clear. Apart from the fact, and I will challenge the MC, the MC knows that those so-called things that they call boreholes are projects for the assembly, not for the PC. But he gave it to him. Number two, please display on the board what they call borehole. These are the things they call borehole. Not a cup of water has flown from any of their documents or their borehole. This is what they call boreholes. This. You are sharing but, your time. Yes. But, with your MC, but please. That is the one at Fiagredu. You can move on. Ablome, Wosset, wherever. But producer, put on the screen all the places that the Magbana has constructed boroughs. Wait. We commission. Adam, not the yet. water is flowing. Pass the, Let the microphone. MC continue. Pass the microphone. Yes. We will come to that one. Pa please speak up. He says he was sharing his time with you. Oh, okay. 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 Yes. Sir, let's go yes. on, please. The, the road from... Sir, please go on. All right, the road from Haveji to Machirikasa. What's Cho boy! Cho boy! Ajinafa, Ajinafa. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 my brothers and sisters, you are disrupting the event. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Sir, please, let's go yes. ahead. I was saying that the road from Haveji to Mechikasa was awarded. The contractor started work from Haveji and got to Veta. And then he finished with the first phase of the bitumen. Then MPP came to power and they chased the contractor out in the name of auditing or investigating whatever the contract means to them. Till date, they have not recalled that contractor. Same thing applies to the road from um, Eki Agosuma, Georgia Road. I actually have the, a copy of the contract document. Bring it, bring it. I will give you a copy before you leave. Yes, I have a copy of that document. G, GS, GS International. They were on the road. They started away from Eki. They started away from Eki. And then Agosuma. They had even started with the Calvets. They are all witness to it. When MPP came to power, they changed the contractor out. And Cookie, 
Don't be surprised that there's another looming judgment debt from that road. Because they chased him out unjustifiably. Other roads that were constructed, they were claiming about uh, Kachi to Georgia. To, I was in office when those roads were awarded and constructed. And in fact, from Akachi to Georgia, was commissioned by J.M. John Mahama on this ground. Okay. And then from 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 Akanu Junction to Akanu, that one was awarded. I still have the okay. award contract. I all have right. it. I will give okay. you a copy. All those copies, all those copies thank are you. in the custody thank of you. My, the MC. All right. Thank you. Then, uh, okay. At this point, K2 North. Choboy! Choboy! Okay. All right. It's okay. Sir. All right. Okay. At this point, Can I? it is very clear that we are all hungry to know what the MCE and the PC on the side of the MPP have done for their people and to also know the plans they have moving forward. So I'm going to give the MPP all the time. At this point, we'll give you the opportunity. If there are any rebuttals or anything you want to respond to, Adam, please. If there are any rebuttals or anything you want to respond to, you can respond. But most importantly, the constituents want to know what you have done for the people and moving forward, what plans you have for them. We'll give you some time to do that and then we'll come to the NDC side as well. So if you have any photos or any videos in our custody, please tell us so we can get them ready. So as you speak to them, we play them on the screen. Thank you, sir. Kukiti, thank you very much. Before my parliamentary candidate, who will be the next member of parliament for cutting off, Ishallah, December 7th, I just want to tell, I want to tell the entire cartoon of who this gentleman is. I want them to know the candidate I'm bringing on board and the candidate that is announcing the seat from NDC come December 7th. My candidate is engineer by profession and he currently holds LLB. He is a lawyer in the making. My candidate is a lawyer in the making. That is the candidate I'm giving you. Cookies, let me tell you the reason why I believe strongly. That let's go back down the memory lane. In 2012, in 2012, as far as parliamentary election is concerned, NDC had 78% and MPP had 18.8%. In 2016, NDC had 61.5% and, and MPP appreciated a vote to 37.9 percent just last election and the city has reduced drastically to 53.64 percent and mpp appreciated to 45.74 percent what is this telling us the people of cutting off are tired of ndc the people of that cutting off have seen and they have known that it is time for mpp to announce the seats that is why I am bringing a gentleman who is a lawyer in the making to come and announce the seat. Let me give him the opportunity to tell the people of Katunov what he's coming to do when elected into parliament. Thank you. First of all, first of all, he has to. First of all, you tell us the things that you have done already. Tell us what you've done already, and then we'll come to what you're about to do for the people. Choboy! Okay, sir, please move on. Uh, Cookie, thank you very much. It is very sad to note once again that 
the NDC, the NDC, and my younger brother, the Magbana, are claiming ownership of a, a national youth employment program in the achievement, afforestation program, community health assistance. Uh, who brought Kufonas? Kufonas, when Mekekwebe? Mekeko Zumla on Vagana. Mekeko Zumla on Vagana. Mekeko Ashing Dososro, a time and die. Protoc of Vagana. Anuma Okama, Anuma Okama. Natasha Bavion Makbanawa. I am blind you in this digital economy. None of you le dopima sava ko mi dalachi waga cho moto ava joje afia va charge mobile phone agoka oje le empia tate two years agoka oje ye manu po fifi la ya dopima to sava ko mi dalachi doba fu ko fa o ma gava fu charge mi le joje o nana yifia o ti fa fe na go na no Gaka mi atashi ba vi oga in choba a jomaliu. Oga ve mo blan le tepo ba light male. Doba fu kopo. Doba guwato. Nova mi gana no shijo. Nova mi gana chifa fe mi kuti jo jo no no no. Oga oga vi vingba. Le opa ba la yama ba yo wo bridge. Dami dalachi. Onraba modestu san habla. Olu bona ju jolan chifa fe ma. A choi guanare. A choi guanare. No oh, bridge la fuma nya tepa baba vaga nya zo bridge maji nga me kata na nya ba bridge areka malu All right Eh uh, yiraja na mi edo dama dama tova bonwe asia bukofa amuzu kofa jakpasu kofa tonwa vafa bali kofa contractor over nya wo line work o katavo Majidio, me query hard room, one district, one factory. Me query Dogada Tova, con contract all the doji. Next month, query a Dogoma Jaga. Next month, me a Joshigana Copa or Katama, you feel it, Lafima. Now, and this is all loaded. No guy either contract our ball, no blown over, no slow down door. Do you have pictures? No, I am talking about. Do we have pictures? If we have pictures, we want to be playing it as you are talking. Do you have pictures, please? Team, team. So he's mentioning the things that he's doing. Can you put them on the screen, please? Sir, let's move on. Let's move on. After 32 years in parliament, it will interest you to note that, uh, Cookie, my good friend. The assemblyman for a he, mayor, Chris Mayor, the students in his electoral area, the pupils in his electoral area are standing under trees. They are standing under touch. Meanwhile, the NDC made us believe that there is no school under tree in Ketun of municipality. As we speak, two weeks ago, I we have handed over site to a contractor that is building six unit classroom block, staff common room, headmaster's office, and a storeroom with a WC with Polytank. The project, two weeks, two weeks project is at roofing level as we are speaking now. Two weeks project is at roofing level in a key right now. A key MAGSS, a key MAGSS. Go and see for yourself. A key MAGSS, go and see for yourself. On the Benjia Key Road, Benyehi Road is sixty percent complete. By next, in two weeks' time, you are going to see the gravel work begin towards the ceiling of that road. Now, in the area of electrification again, you go to a people area. My good people of Klala Kope, the electrification project is ongoing, and very soon you will no longer have to travel to a people or a Bulogui to charge your mobile phones in this digital economy. All right. So you go to Ajoti. Two minutes Ajoti more. Two minutes area. more. Two minutes the more. The classroom block, the classroom block in Ajoti electoral area 
after 32 years of having a member of parliament, the classroom looks like the Kipet Devego Road. The classroom that the children are to study is looking like Kipet Devego Road. I have gone to renovate this classroom. Next week, we will be done with the painting and hand over the classroom right. to the community. Thank you. In, in Thank Ebulogui, you, in Ebu, sir. In Ebulogui, sir, you are not listening in Ebulogui, to me. After 32 years of a member of parliament, Sir, you're not listening we have... to me. You're not listening to me. You've got two minutes more. We've done over one hour, 45 minutes. We need to go. So you have two minutes more, please. You go to Evulogui, where after 32 years of having a member of parliament, the children are sharing, five children are sharing a desk. Tomorrow morning, I'll be at Evulogui to provide these children with desks tomorrow morning the people okay thank you MC MC I have I have lobbied I have lobbied through the regional minister through the regional minister to get Tajavu Rose Tajavu Town Rose uh, maintained as we speak, the, the maintenance of Tajabu Town Roads have been completed and the team is moving to Georgia. Okay. You, you go there, you thank see you it for sir. yourself, Tajabu Town you. Road. Thank you. Adam. And, uh, sir, thank you. You've had enough time. You've had enough time, please. In five minutes, can you also tell the people what you've done? If you have photos, just like I requested from the MPP, if you have photos and videos, let's know, please. Five minutes. Okay. Five minutes. Okay. Cookie, Cookie. Go ahead, please. I am. All very, of that is in the five minutes. I am very happy with the question of what we have done, but let it be clear, and let it go on record, that today, right here, in front of the people of Ketu North, my brother from the NPP is unable to speak to his so-called fifteen boreholes. Now let the producers project some of my achievements. And in case you need more, I have more here in this document. We have a standard version of it. So the producers can talk about it. But let's, Cookie, let's start. Let's start. Cookie, let's start even before, as we wait for the producers, all the items that my brother from the NPP has mentioned, he is seated right by the MCE. He is only telling us and the MCE has accepted that he has been a complete failure. Because the MP is because, also a complete no, failure. The because, MP is also a complete failure. Oh, the MP not, is a complete failure. Not, 32 wasted years. Sir, please don't 32 wasted years. Interrupt, 32 wasted years. The MP is a failure. 32 not, so you are coming to continue. Inheritance. Continue the inheritance. Sir, continue the inheritance. Please. Continue the inheritance. That is who wasted here. Can I have the microphone, please? Sir, can I have the microphone? With all due respect, it's over. Can I have the microphone, please? It's my event. Let me have the microphone. No, no, calm down. I'm asking him to hand over the microphone. He doesn't want to. When you were speaking, he didn't interrupt. Let's be civil, please. Cookie, I am not afraid to speak to my achievements. That is why I have documented them. Let me start. Let us go to the board. Adam McBurnett's achievement over the last couple of years. In the area of education, I have established the, the Magbana Scholarship Scheme. As we speak today, over 80 students from various tertiary institutions are benefiting from the, the Magbana Scholarship Scheme. I introduce a, the Magbana Computer for All Schools. As we speak today, 
I have distributed computers to 25 public schools here in Kato North. And it's there to show. Again, 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 again. In the year, again, in the year 2023 and 2024, I make sure that every single BEC candidate in Kato North received mathematical set from me. This year, 2024, I sponsored a special mock examinations for all BC candidates. The records are there. Again in education, again in education, I have supplied stationery, I have supplied shoes, school uniforms to many schools and the evidence is there to see. Let's go to the area of water. I launched a Demagbana Water for All project where the target is that by the end of this year, 40 communities will receive mechanized boreholes from me. As we speak today, as we speak today, 18 communities have benefited and we can project all the 18 on the projector for you to see. Again, again, I brought in engineers, I brought in engineers to repair existing but broken down boreholes in 38 communities. Two we can provide more. the list. Two we can more. project Two the minutes list. More. Two minutes more. We can project the list. Two minutes more. And for every argument we are making, we've provided the evidence. In the area of health, over the last year, I have organized in total more than 52 medical outreach programs. And the NPPs, the NPPs regional secretary, the NPPs regional secretary, Mr. Pope Yaoyavu, who bear me witness that I have single-handedly paid for the registration and the renewal of well over 8,000 constituents. The evidence is from their own MPP. I, I, I am embarking. I am asking the MPP themselves to provide the evidence. In the area, in the area of skills training, in the area of skills training, I started a project called Eden Power 500, where we can actually tell you that even last week Saturday, just last week Saturday, at Depot, 167 young men and women in Ketunov benefited from my skills training. Again, in the area of sports, in the area of sports, Eric Adam Agbana single-handedly sponsored the Division 3 League here in Kato North. I have presented, I have presented over 120 jerseys and over 400 footballs to football teams across Kato North. I have single-handedly I have single-handedly established a sports academy called Nukunu Sports Academy. We played at Division 3 and we've qualified to Division 2. Now, my brother from the MPP, in his usual attempt to copy me, decided to buy a team here in Georgia for 4,000 Ghana cities. By the time the season ended, the team did not even have money to go play matches, they dropped out. That is the incompetence All we are right. talking about. Again, Thank you. in the area of sports, Thank Fafa you, Kala, recently, Adam. a couple of weeks ago, the team from Afonyaga, Afonyaga Striking up, Force, Adam. that won the Fafa Gala, your time can is bear up. me witness that right from Adam, the beginning of the contest, I sponsored Adam, every single team. I sponsored Adam, them to win the competition. Up. Adam, there is more, is but for want of time, let me give you Adam, this so that you and up. your production team can see your more inside here. Thank you. We have a big vision for Ketunov. All right, Ketunov. Come December 7th, we are winning with over 95%. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are almost wrapping up our community manifesto here in K2 North.
We'll give you three minutes. Wrap up for us your message to the people. All three of you can share the three minutes or one person can talk. However you want to do it, it's fine. But just three minutes, so we go, please. We are wrapping up. I'm giving the MPP three minutes for their final message to the constituents, please. Let's go. It's 11.30 exactly, so I'm timing it. Thank you very much, Cookie T and TV3 crew. Finally, we just want to say that with a bold solution that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is bringing on board and having my member of parliament, Honorable Enoch Kobla Amagleto, we believe that the 32 wasted years of NDC, it is over. Enough is enough. Come December 7th, MPP is producing parliamentary candidates. MPP is also producing president for the Republic of Ghana. Thank you all. All right, sir, let's hear you. Are you speaking, sir? Uh, as a municipal chief executive of the country of municipal assembly, I want to use this opportunity to thank TV3 for uh, this opportunity and I want to uh, plead with our constituents that election is not about war. We are all the same, we are all one people and I am pleading that we go into this election peacefully so that whoever emerges as the winner who all uh, uh, accept it and move forward as a country. And I want to assure all the, cons all, all the uh, 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 people of this constituency that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has good plans for this constituency. And uh, by 2025, when he, he, he is sworn in as the, 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 the next president of Ghana, we can all see the developmental project that will emerge in this country. Thank you, and may God bless us all. Thank you, too. PC, speak to your people. Yeah, so, the NDC have wasted Ketuno for the past 32 years. It is time to show them the exit from Ketuno parliamentary seat in the parliament house in Accra. They have nothing to offer us as far as this election is concerned. Today, they are here with a document this, with, with so many lives, nothing to show off. They have done nothing in this constituency. On issue of skills development, as we speak now, I am onboarding over 1,500 youth to bridging the gap in agriculture. I am also skilling 800 youth in various sectors. I am skilling over 800 youth in various sectors of the economy. 150 youth, male, female, will be equipped with equipment in two weeks' time in this constituency. Just three days ago, I trained 50 youth in fish farming across this constituency. The next phase will take place next month. On Sunday, Monday, we are in the Bulogui to train the women in soap making. Coming Sunday, I will be in a people with a team to train another 200 youth. This year in Ketunov, we are changing the member of parliament. We are changing the member of parliament. And we move forward. We change and move forward in Ketunov. In, thank you very much. Right. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Showboy! Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's thank go, you, sir. thank you, thank you. Chow boy, chow boy, please silent. Thank you. Anytime the MPP leadership speak, they say they have done so many work, they have done plenty work, they have done more than NDC. But when you push them, that they should mention 10, then they start dodging. It is because they always double in misplaced priority. They say they have a warehouse. It is a useless project. There is a project, which is a warehouse at a key. On the farm, on the rice farm, they are not using it for anything. Why build a warehouse for rice when we don't farm rice in 
a huge quantity in getting off. So, they always double in misplaced priority. All I want to tell them is that they should wait December 7. We will give them the shock of the line. Okay. We will beat them miserably. All right. That they will have no Thank choice you. to even contest Thank anything. You, Thank, Thank you. you. All right. All right. All right. Will you, will you keep quiet and listen? Sir, please go ahead. Go ahead. All right. All right. You see, the argument has always been the MP has nothing Get to do with the let me set the record straight. In the area of electricity, electricity extension, Dr. James Kluge Averji has connected in excess of 150 communities to the national grid. In order not to bore you with the list, I can mention a few. Agovega, Agovanukopa, Agaklakopa, all the way. So every zone all the four zones in the constituency have seen massive rural electrification extension under the leadership of Dr. James Kuti Averji. In the area of health, is there anyone here that will challenge the record of Dr. James Kuti Averji that the fact that a key maternity ward was constructed by Dr. James Kuti Averji, the fact that a people maternity was done by Dr. James Kuti Averji, the fact that the Virgo maternity and OPD is done by Dr. James Kuti Averji, the Mai Chief Compound by Dr. James Kuti Averji, Kasu Chief Compound, Kanomadi Chief Compound, even the district hospital that we've gotten in there. There has been so much Thank propaganda you, about the how that project came sir, into being. Please pass the, the microphone. The matter is Thank that you. That project has been the project of Dr. Thank James Thank you. Kutia. Thank you, thank you. Choboy! 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 Adam Agbana! Adam Agbana! Adam Agbana! Alec Pekladu! Alec Pekladu! Thank you, Cookie. Let me say to the good people of Ghana watching us that if there is any constituency in this republic, that the NDC does not have to worry about. Come December 7th, it is Ketu not. I will give, I will give the MPP and their candidates the hardest knock of their lives. We will win with over 95 percent. Again, 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 again. Toboy, Tuki, the acting chairman. The acting, the acting chairman of the MPP, who I know in his heart of heart would wish to see a different and a more serious candidate, gave a certain statistics. In the statistics, he started from 2012 and he created the impression that it was only 2016 and 2020 that the MPP picked up. Now, since 1992, Adam, the record is that one minute anytime the MPP changes FO Kofi Jamesi, their performance drops. Even with Pius, even with Pius, who had national clout, who was more serious as a candidate, they got 12 percent. My brother will not even get All right. three percent, 95 for us, Choboy, the way six for us, Choboy, 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 Choboy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ketu North, thank you for having Community Manifesto in your constituency. The Volta Regional Tour continues. This is your election command center. I am Cookie, and this is Community Manifesto from Ketu North. We move on to the other. <laughs>